proper sniffing when they're in different food. It's Thor with a present. Ooh, instead of a hammer? Yeah. Nice. Okay. And... So that's a new one. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's a good face. Good morning, good morning, it's great to stay out late, good morning, good morning to you. Sorry, sorry, I said the other day I have no business singing, my hair is a mess today, um, this is what happens when I, like, comb it really quick and then just go to sleep and don't feel like putting it up because today is a stay at home day. Bonus. I love those. Um, but it is supposed to be gross today. Um, it's just supposed <laughs> to rain and storm and just be really bad. We're not, today was the day that they thought we were going to get snow. Um, but it changed because it's like 50 degrees. Let me stop and say that I do know that that good morning song is now from singing in the rain, singing, 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 singing in the rain. Um, and I will put the comment up here that was on the day 20 vlogmas. Um, thank you so much for letting me know because I was pretty sure like, I had Gene Kelly's voice in my head, but Gene Kelly is all right. Let me stop before I get like ahead of myself and I have no clue what I'm talking about. Um, hold on one second. I'll show you guys my coffee mug. I got this from a student years ago, years and years and years ago. Um, it says North Pole. It's a Christmas tree. Um, I love this style of mug. Um, what is in my coffee? I don't even know. I'm probably just saying things, to be honest, because it's tall and I can hold on to it because you guys have seen that this week where I hold my mug. I'm sorry. I'm like super rambly today. It is 1033. I have been up for a little while, um, but this is only my second cup of coffee. So how about we start over? Good morning. Welcome to Dog Mom Knits. Today is December 22nd. I had to look at the advent to see what day we were on. December 22nd, happy 22nd day of Vlogmas. Um, I am down here next to my tree, um, getting ready to open my advent for the day. We are staying home today. See, this is how I should have been from the beginning. We are staying home today because it is going to be rainy and stormy. Um, they've actually... Like one of the local weather channels was telling people to bring their Christmas decorations in today because today it's supposed to storm all day and tomorrow is supposed to be like gusts of wind up to 50 miles an hour, which is crazy. Um, <clears throat> they were originally saying we were going to get snow today, but it's going to be like in the 50s. But then tomorrow, um, the cold front that's going like coming down from Canada that's dropping off like blizzard conditions in the Midwest is going to swing over this way and we're not going to get any snow, but I'll put the a screenshot of our weather for this week here. Check out Friday. Check out tomorrow. The high and the low. I'll wait. 50 degree high. When we wake up in the morning, they said it'll be 50. By two o'clock, it'll be in the 20s and the overnight low is eight. 50 degrees to 8 degrees in less than 24 hours. It's crazy. I'm going to start taking some Tylenol today <laughs> to try to get ahead of the headache. <coughs> Excuse me, the headache that I am certain to have tomorrow because weather changes like that trigger migraines for me. So. preemptive, preventative, I don't know what we're going to call it, but I probably will take a Tylenol before I go to bed just to try to, to try to get ahead. So yesterday on Vlogmas, if you watched, it was a pretty chill, what has happened here? <laughs> this is like all tangled. It's 
a pretty chill day yesterday. Um, I did decide on, <laughs> I can't even untangle these to show them to you. Oh my goodness. Um, I decided that I'm going to hold off working on my mom's socks. The um, Area 51 Fiber is my favorite rainbow because um, I tried them on and I am concerned that they're not going to fit. Sorry, I hate when things are tangled and these are very tangled. Um, so I switched back to my Sockmas socks that obviously didn't get done for Sockmas, which is a not a YouTube, um, a make along hosted by Nitty Natty. Um, I knit these socks in tandem, which is why they're so crazily tangled because I have two sets of needles, three balls of yarn because there's a mini, um, and two projects going in one bag. But I have the first sock ready for the toe. I have the second sock halfway through the foot. I have loved knitting these in tandem. I guess I should hold them like the same way. I have loved knitting these in tandem and think that in 2023, there's going to be more socks knit like this. So in tandem means <clears throat> you wind off your yarn into two 50 gram balls. So this is one of them. And then um, what I did is I have two US 1.5s. Um, I knit the cuff of one, the cuff of the other, the leg of one, the leg of the other, um, the heel of one, the heel of the other, and then the foot of one, and now I'm doing the foot of the other. I am not a huge fan of ribbing. I find it tedious, um, the switching back and forth between knitting and purling. I don't know. It's just, it's just not something I enjoy. So the fact that these are already past that, um, I love everything else about the socks. So it's actually making them go really fast. Um, and usually by the point, by the time I get to this point, I'm like, Ugh. but because this sock is already done and this sock is so close to being done, um, or done except for the toe. I don't know. It's just making them go so much faster. I have seen Nitty Natty Natalie do many, many socks this way. And I am, I don't know. I'm just a huge fan. So, um, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to knit a couple more in this um, using this method just to kind of make sure I like it, but I'm pretty sure I do. Sorry, I'm trying to put them back neater than how I found them. Um, but the reason I, so I stopped knitting my mom's socks because <clears throat> I'm not sure they're going to fit. The other reason, so the reason I went back to these socks and not to Sean's socks, because he has a pair of Christmas socks on the needles as well, <laughs> is because I bought the 12 day advent stripe from Anna of Zebra Yarns <clears throat> and it starts on Christmas day and so those will be knit in tandem because it's like the cozy knitter socks where you knit like a stripe of each sock each day and I want to use this bag because it is gorgeous it's from three by the sea it is so beautiful scenes from the nativity but it has a lot of the wise men and 12 days after Christmas, so on January 6th, that's when, excuse me, that's when Daria's family in Macedonia celebrates Christmas because that's the arrival of the, or when they kind of celebrate the arrival of the wise men to see the baby Jesus. And so I thought, and that's when the Advent goes to, it goes from Christmas Day to January, I think 6th or 7th. And I just thought because there's, so many kind of wise men on here that this was going to be like the perfect bag for between Christmas and Christmas the 25th and Christmas the 6th as it's celebrated in Macedonia. So um, I want to get these socks off the needles so that this bag is ready to go for my Christmas Day cast on, which was part of my to-do list yesterday. Um, and my Christmas Day cast on is going to be my socks from Anna. So that's really, that's pretty exciting. So my goal today is to knit my wallop cowl and finish the foot and toe of, like finish the foot of the sock that the toe isn't finished. Oh my gosh, hold on, let me try again. Finish the foot of the sock 
where the foot isn't finished and go ahead and knit the toe of that sock. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, if I can get both toes done, bonus to me, because then I can switch back and work on Sean's socks, which I haven't worked on those in quite like in a while. And I have no clue how much, <clears throat> how much I have left to do. I think I'm still on the first sock. Of course I am. Why would I not be? One of these days, I'm going to be a really good planner of my knitting, and I'm going to be able to not scramble in December with all of my Christmas knitting. One day, right here. Ugh, it's fine. We're just staying home today. It'll be fine. So this was yesterday's color. Um, this is my wallop cowl. I'm using the Blush Yarns Advent, which I am absolutely in love with. This color is so gorgeous, this blue with the purple speckles. So I am going to guess that we are going to, because these are the last, like this is the last couple colors. And I have not seen a purple in a while. Um. So I'm going to guess, well, I guess there's purple in that. So maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to guess. Yeah, I'm just going to stick with purple. It's going to be a darker purple. Sean is here. He's working from home, which I'm super grateful for that he's not going to have to be. His commute is like an hour um, on some pretty busy interstates. And so I'm grateful that he's not going to be, um, he's not having to drive in the chaos that is today. My shirt is, it says Dorothy in Wonderland. Um, this is the first fall show that I directed at my school. Um, it was three years ago because um, I just finished directing my third one. The premise of this show is that Dorothy, Tin Man, Lion, Scarecrow, and the Wizard in the last scene of Dorothy, uh, the Wizard of Oz a tornado comes through Oz and whisks them all off to Wonderland and they get separated and they meet up with Wonderland characters and then they meet the Queen of Hearts and Alice and Dorothy team up and yeah and they the Wizard of Oz characters use their gifts to um help out the girls and it's just such a fun show I absolutely <laughs> love the show it's my it was my second time directing it I directed it at my old school and then at my new school and I would direct it again and again. It's just really, really great. Dorothy throws water in the Queen of Hearts face and then asks her, why aren't you melting? Sorry, I dropped my yarn. I'm like, Dorothy, you ain't in Wonderland anymore. I mean, in Oz anymore. That's what the shirt on the back, uh, the back of the shirt is um, an image of Dorothy and Toto. And it says, I don't think we're in Oz anymore, Toto. Which is like... Such a fun line from the second scene after they get whisked off by the tornado. Okay, so day 22, little Christmas sweater. Do you want to take a guess? I'm sticking with purple. Gray. Gray? Yeah, I've okay. given up hope of red. <laughs> Sean said he has given up hope of red and he is sticking, he's going with gray. Oh, it is purple, but like this super dark brown, gray, purple. And it's got Stellina in it, so it's sparkly. Look at this. Oh, wow, that is so gorgeous. That is such a beautiful color. And of course, I put the cowl away. But it is going to look so nice next to this light blue <laughs> and really make those purple speckles like pop out oh my gosh okay that is stunning all right i'm super excited about this i love it so much i love this advent so much i love this project so much i'm already thinking about my advents and my projects for next year which is super funny to me. Look how gorgeous that is. Okay, so I'm gonna go wind this up. Daria's upstairs sleeping in because today is her first day of winter break. Um, and maybe we'll get up to something around the house today. 
maybe we'll just watch Christmas movies and Brooklyn Nine-Nine and that's it for our life today. I don't know. <clears throat> Either way, it would be a good day because we have a home to stay safe in. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to God that that's true. All right, let's wind some yarn. It's a raccoon. Yeah. Is he on toothpaste? No. What's he on? It's like a snow thingy. Oh, like a snowmobile. Yeah. Okay, well, I feel dumb thinking it was toothpaste. Oh, <laughs> uh, your host mom's not the brightest. Sorry, kid. <laughs> 